Shalom to everyone who's watching me from different parts of the world. Today's word is someone is very deceptive and they do not want you to know. So my brothers and sisters, be very careful who you entertain. Be very careful who you talk to on a daily basis. Because there are people that have been lying to you. Brothers and sisters, before you believe someone check out whether they are talking the truth and how do you know how do you do that it is through the word of god the word of god will reveal to you the hearts of men that's why you see i encourage people to always meditate on god's word when you want to know whether the world is telling you the truth check the word of god whether the word that you have heard is lining up with the word of god because there is a lot of deception out there that is uh, created to just cause fear. So my brothers and sisters, you are not supposed to be afraid. You are supposed to walk in love. You are supposed to walk in faith. Faith over fear. So my brothers and sisters, some of you have colleagues that have been lying to you. And they have been doing this from... Uh, for a very long time, some of you have family members who have been sending you messages of deception. They are not who you think they are. They do not represent what they say. It has all been a lie. It has been deception. Some of you, deception has affected you so much to one extent that even deception is like truth to you. Be very careful. Go back to the roots. Go back to the source. Go back to the word of God. The word of God is above everything. The word of God will uncover all the lies of the enemy. My brothers and sisters, if you want to know what God has said about your life, it is the word of God. If someone comes up with a word that does not line up with what God has said over your life, be very careful. Be very careful. If someone comes up with a word that does not line up with the word of God, stay away from them. Whatever they speak, if it's for you, it has to line up with the word of God. Because God's word is above everything. This is the end of this message. I hope it has blessed you. I hope it has encouraged you. Remember, I released these words just to encourage you. Just to let you know what is happening in the world. Because a lot of lies are being sent out, especially on gossip pages, on social media. There's a lot of lies. When you turn on the news, they are spreading a lot of lies. So be very careful not to be caught up in the lies of this world. Be prudent in whatever you do. Jesus was prudent in his activities. He did not listen to what people say about him. In fact, he asked them a question. Who do men say that I, the son of man, am? It is amazing at how people responded to that question. Even his own disciples didn't know who he was. It was only one person who it was revealed unto. His disciples thought that he was, that, that, that he was uh, uh, one of the uh, prophets. Some said he was uh, John. Some said he was, he was Jeremiah. But it was Simon who said, that Jesus is the Christ. He's the Son of God. And Jesus turned to Simon and said, Your name is no longer Simon, but it's now Peter. He said to him, That flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. I pray for you, brothers and sisters, that God reveals to you the truth. Until next time, God bless you.